shooting that killed a man and wounded a teenage bystander. A bullet flying through a window into a home and hitting that young victim. All of it starting with a fight outside in the street. Alma McCarty talked to witnesses in Salem tonight. Salem police spent part of the afternoon in the neighborhood canvassing and handing out these flyers to reassure the people living there that they are actively investigating this shooting. This was the scene Monday night around the corner of Arbon Drive and Vallejo Street northeast in Salem. And I hear this uh, probably by four shots uh, just was quick and I come out of the door and look for see what's going on and what I hear it's a bunch of people running right here trying to help them. That was just before 9 p.m. Roberto Roa said he called Salem PD right away when he saw two bodies in the yard across the street. Police said one man, a 27 year old, died from his injuries. The second man, 30 years old, is still in the hospital. That's really hard. Officers say a third victim, a teenage bystander inside of her home, was also hit during the gunfight, a fight that erupted after a dispute between several men gathered in the street. It was the girl right there with my neighbor, and they say they shot right there from the window that got hurt. She's expected to recover. Less than 24 hours later, officers with the Community Action Unit went door to door talking with neighbors and answering questions. A spokesperson with the department said this engagement after a crime like this is essential to build trust and understanding. They've been right here for since uh, 97. Those kids, they grow up right here with me. I was watching all the time. Roberto says he's still trying to process this deadly shooting involving young people he's known for years. I talk to those kids all the time. Hey, better watch out because it's not only you. This is not you. This is everybody right here. We got little kids and your mom, your dad or whatever. And look at what's happening. Officers encourage anyone with information to come forward and contact them through the tips line. In Salem, Alma McCarty, KGW News.